What's going on YouTube? Rob A again, and today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO The Simpsons, set number 71006, The Simpsons House. Uh, now this is a LEGO exclusive set. It has 2,523 pieces and retails for $200. Uh, this is the first official licensed Simpsons set from LEGO, and it is a... Uh, Lego seems to have just come out swinging with this. I mean, they've got the Simpsons house. They're probably, you know, one of the most iconic parts of the Simpsons television show is, you know, the Simpsons house itself. It's in pretty much every episode. Um, and there have been some complaints about how kind of just a big tan box that this thing is uh but that's what it, that's what it is that's the simpsons house man it's a big tan box uh so that is super cool um you've got all the the main simpsons family here uh you got bart maggie lisa uh, marge homer and of course uh ned flanders here and i know i don't have the entire box in frame here i can back up and get the whole thing in because this thing is this box is really really big um just to give you a quick idea if i have a little this here there's a uh there's a truck uh so yeah a whole lot of stuff going on here i'm not even sure where to begin um as you can see it's a very nice representation of the simpsons house uh you've got a nice little ramp for El Barto there. You get a little grill, uh, just some odds and ends. You get the Simpsons family car and, of course, an animate carbon rod. Very, very important here. Um, one thing to note is, at least on the box, it looks like all the Simpsons characters uh, seem kind of, uh, kind of, I don't know, kind of drugged. Uh, they look very sleepy. Their eyes are all, like, half-closed. And I'm sure that may just be a matter of... Um, you know they they're having more sets coming out and they're having the uh, the the collectible minifigure line as well so they probably want you to um you know to buy those other sets and you'll probably get better versions of the Simpsons characters in those sets but as it is you get all those guys um you can see up top here the the top lifts off the uh, the house and you can open it up as well Ugh. turn this gigantic thing around. And you can see inside they have recreated like the entire Simpsons house. They've got uh, Maggie's room, Lisa's room, the bathroom. They got Bart's room over here, uh, somewhere here, maybe here. I don't know. <laughs> They've got the kitchen, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, just everything going on. And of course, the the famous family den with the television set as well. Uh, so just a whole lot of stuff going on here. Um, you can see a. a, a house layout right up here looks very very cool so i'm gonna cut this video right here i'm gonna build this set and i'm gonna come right back and then we will uh we'll discuss this further so uh it's probably gonna be a long review bear with me so there's just a whole lot to talk about here so i will see you guys in just a moment Okay guys, so first things first, as we always do, we're going to take a look at the minifigures from the set. And of course, they're totally crazy. We have the Simpsons themselves, uh, and of course, uh, neighbor Ned Flanders. Uh, so, we'll start off with Homer Simpson. Now, as I mentioned, uh, you know, during the, during the packaging review, the... <sighs> The minifigs are great, uh, don't get me wrong, but they are, I don't feel, the stars of this set, and it's mainly because of the, the prints on all of the heads. Uh, they just have this, like, half-closed, glazed-over eyes appearance, and it really, I think, uh, takes away from, uh, from the look 
of, of the minifigs. <laughs> they look like they are so bored. It's, it's like, oh, here's Bart, and he, he's skateboarding, but he does not care about anything. <laughs> so uh, other than that, I mean, the prints are great. Uh, there's no back printing, I think, on any of these except for maybe Ned and Marge. But um, as you can see, the, uh, the new heads are pretty fantastic. Uh, the, the printing on them is just awesome. He's, he's even got his little hairs up top. And those are actually, uh, those are sculpted on as well as, as printed. Um, and he's got, of course, the, the printed sleeves and his little uh, uh, nuclear power plant name tag and uh, his tie. So really, really cool. Very, very much liking these minifigs. Just hoping they get some better, uh, <laughs> you know, better eye prints. Uh, yes, their heads are rather large. Um, everyone kind of reminds me of like an Iron Man head, <laughs> just in the size. Um, but I think for for the characters, you know, who we're talking about here, I think it works. So that is Homer Simpson. Here we have. Marge Simpson and uh, she's pretty nice she's got her apron going on here I do wish that they had um, I, I do wish the printing on the apron was a little brighter it, it comes off looking like a you know like grayish and then you've got the very bright apron on the, the cloth part here um, she's got some back printing you see her pearls her red pearls <laughs> And of course the hair with the accessory hole on top. So there you go. You got that. You can put you could put a crow on her hair if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, again the kind of half glazed and looking off to the side look. So it can be a bit limiting, but uh, other than that, pretty pretty amazing minifigs. Um, I will also say that I wish I wish Lego would find a better solution than these kind of cloth little skirts because they they never close properly they just i mean you have to either you know pre fold them and just get them you know kind of set in a certain way uh before you put them on or you know like this they just kind of flop off to the side but it's all right it's certainly not the end of the world and that is marge simpson next up bart simpson Looking like he could not care less about skateboarding. Uh, he's again looking off to the side. Uh, <laughs> very cool. I really, I really do like this. He's got these little hair spikes, and uh, he's got printed, printed legs all the way around. Um, they are the little mini legs, uh, but he does have nice printing all over the little yellow of his knees and it matches very nicely um, I think it's I think it's actually um, double tone plastic I don't think even think it's printing so that's pretty awesome um, and of course he has the sleeves as well and yeah and he's got his little green skateboard with the purple wheels so if you've seen The Simpsons, you've seen this skateboard many, many times because uh, it's in the opening credits. And uh, there's Bart. Next up is Lisa. Lisa with her pearls and kind of a worried look on her face. Not nearly as doped up as the rest, but uh, still a very kind of awkward, <laughs> awkward expression on her face. Uh, but she has she has printed legs as well. They're red and then yellow and then red again. And she has her little little skirt that kind of covers over that. And uh, again, it it doesn't quite go around. But I think because this one's shorter, it doesn't quite look as bad as on Marge. But yeah, that is Lisa. There you go. Last up for the Simpsons is Maggie. And uh, she's pretty adorable. She's got a new new uh, body piece. So you can see she's got her little her little onesie. Uh, little, I don't even know what to call it. But uh, 
kind of flares out in the back and uh, she's a little bit shorter than than Lisa here so you can see she's the baby <laughs> um, and of course the printed bow on her hair and her little her little pacifier and she doesn't have any doped up look so that leads me to think maybe she won't be as common as the other Simpsons characters so they probably put the put the good one in here so um, but I hope they reuse this this body mold maybe for her uh, her arch enemy uh, with the unibrow <laughs> that would be awesome so yeah very cool uh, very nice Simpsons and then here is Ned Flanders probably my favorite character from this uh, set of minifigs he's got his little cooking apron hail to the chef uh, he's got his little his eyes are sculpted behind his glasses which is kind of weird looking but awesome at the same time uh, he's got his mustache or the old the old cookie duster uh, and he's got some nice back printing there as well so the head sculpts on these are all really really nice um, yeah, maybe a little bit on the big side, but I think they look good in in person. I think they look great. So, very, very cool. And, uh, let's move on and check out the set itself. Alright, guys, and here we are at 742 Evergreen Terrace. And this set, uh, while on the... On the packaging, I mean, it looks like a big tan square, and I totally, I totally agree with that. There's no defense against that kind of, you know, criticism. However, while I was building this, uh, just to get in the mood, I was watching some Simpsons episodes, and uh, this house looks like dead on from the show, and and that's. That's a that's a feat. Like that's a pretty pretty impressive feat right there. Um, so as you can see, outside of the house, it's uh, it's very iconic, very <laughs> very big. This is, this thing is huge. I can't even like I cannot impress enough how large this thing is in person. Uh, but you get a couple of accessories like outside that, that I'll go over quickly. Um, you do get the mailbox here. It's a little blue. Blue mailbox, a little mini build with the little flag. So that's pretty cool. You get a, uh, a nice little letter. It's a standard old, older fashioned letter, I guess. Not the, uh, not the letter for for Harry Potter. So I guess Dumbledore's not, uh, not looking around for Bart or Lisa anytime soon. So there you go. You get that. You get this uh, sweet little. <laughs> Uh, sweet little ramp for uh, for Bart's skateboard, and he's uh, he's tagged it with El Barto on there, so pretty cool. Um, I you know what this set has a few stickers in it, and they're all really nice. I have to say, uh, nothing felt like annoying. <laughs> they were all easy to apply, first of all. Um, and yeah, they all, I feel, actually add to the set rather than just kind of just add on nonsense. But anyway, you get uh, this little wheelbarrow for Marge, I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, with some pots of flowers in there. And uh, one of the stickers you can see here, Property of Ned Flanders. And you'll see that a couple more times in the set as well, which is pretty awesome. I do like that uh, that kind of recurring theme. Uh, you also get a couple of lawn chairs here, or deck chairs. So those are neat little builds. I don't know that they were necessary, but they're neat. So you get them. There you go. And those come with a couple of uh, couple of drinks. Here, just little little clear glasses with these little great uh, little purple cherries, which I guess are I don't know grapes or something or just weird colored cherries, but. Uh, those are pretty cool. Cool to have. And uh, just put those off to the side so I don't lose them. And uh, let's turn the house around. Check out the back of the building. Put this up. Mm -hmm. See the side here. 
and the the grill in the back and we'll show you right here another uh, on the back of the grill you've got a property of Ned Flanders that's pretty cool and then the back of the house obviously there's really nothing going on here um, but you still you get the uh, you get the little patio for the Simpsons here and that's pretty awesome. You get this little this little grill with some with some weenies on it. Ned Flanders grill as we've already established. So you do get that. Pretty neat. I'll just put that off to the side as I drop the hot dogs everywhere. Sausages flying about. And we will circle this thing around once more you see the air conditioning unit there and we will get to that a little closer in a moment so there is the house now let's start <laughs> on the inside of this house and we'll start off with the garage we'll just lift the door here and we'll uh, get the Simpsons car out here so here is the Simpsons car and uh, it's a pretty neat car it was a really enjoyable build it's very easy um, to do and very unique it's it's not like any other car I've ever built from Lego um, I, if I had one complaint it would be that I really wish it had come with some sort of top like I know I know they left it open here so that you could get uh, you could get Marge inside which is kind of obnoxious on its own because to actually get her in the car you kind of have to uh, you kind of have to get her naked which is pretty pretty weird but uh, so <laughs> kind of strange stuff going on here so you can stick her right in there let me get this down a little further there we go so you can sit Marge right in there, and there's room for her hair to come out of the top. But as we mostly, you know, we mostly see Homer driving this car, usually by himself. Um, it would have been really nice to just have a little plate or something you just stick on top and uh, kind of fill that in as it is. It just has the, just has the hole in the roof at all times. Um, and you can fit the kids back there as well, at least two of them, not... Not both, not all three, but uh, you can fit Bart and Lisa back there. <laughs> and if you had smaller hands than me, you could probably do it, you know, in some sort of decent way. But uh, yeah, but they're they're all in there. You can you can mash the Simpsons into that car. So. There you go. It's got the license plate going on here. It's even got the crinkled, uh, crinkled corner, and of course the uh, the trunk can open up. And inside, oh man, you've got an inanimate carbon rod, star of the show. And you even get the little tongs that Homer's, uh, you know, kind of grabbing them with in the beginning of the show. So, pretty awesome stuff. Pretty awesome stuff. This review is going to be long, so please, guys, bear with me. Um, and, you know, you can always just skip ahead to you find what you're looking for, but that over there. And we are going to check out the inside of the house. So, start off, uh, we'll check out the garage, and the garage does detach from the rest of the house. It's held on by a couple of pins, so you just... Pull it gently and it'll come right off here okay and like the entire house does the roof comes right off just like so and you can tell the orientation of the roof because it's got these little kind of light sort of things uh, that they go towards the bottom of whatever part you're putting the uh, putting the roof piece onto so just like that and uh, just pull that up and we can see inside and inside the garage is very very simple you've got a you know 
a workstation with all the tools. Uh, you've got a couple of cans of paint, spray paints on top. You've got uh, Homer's lunch pail there, um, and you know, vice bench and, and things like that. And yeah, that's really it for the inside of the garage, but very nice overall. And you just put the put the roof right back on there like so and just pop that off to the side for now now for the inside of the rest of the house okay so to gain access indoors uh, you just come over here and you can even just push the or grab the uh, the air conditioning unit which also has a property of Ned Flanders sticker on it and you just pull and you open it right up and here you go and this is a whole bunch of crazy going on here all right so we're gonna do this a half at a time again it's gonna be a long one so all right there's just so much going on here like I couldn't I couldn't just do this in 10 minutes or 20 minutes it, it really is just going to be what it is but uh, all right so <clears throat> here we have up here I guess we'll start with uh, with Lisa's room and we'll go ahead and take the roof off here so we can actually see a little bit better inside so we have Lisa's room she's got her bed she's got a nice little bookshelf going on here uh, her jazz poster jazz vest and uh, <laughs> Very, very nice little, very nice building techniques used on all the little beds and things here. Um, and uh, it looks like a brand new magnifying glass piece. Like, I know they've had magnifying glass pieces, but I have never seen one quite like this before. It looks, looks different. It looks almost bigger, but I don't have an older one handy to, uh, to verify, so. So that is just what it is, but. Yeah, so very cool drawers and things like that, and the, the bed, of course, a nice little pink bed. But, uh, let's get Lisa in her room here, and she can just hang out up here for now. We'll figure her out later. <laughs> uh, we can actually come over here to the other half of her room, which is her little dresser and her little vanity mirror, and she's got a, a camera stand as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's also a backpack hidden hidden back in there, if you want it. <laughs> All right, so moving on to uh, the bathroom here. So you can see you can have access to the bathroom from the from the roof basically and you've got a little shower going on here you've got a turlet and even uh even some some toilet paper in the in the corner there it's a little hard to see but uh you've got a sink and a mirror uh so really really nice stuff going on you can open the door of course and then uh on to homer and marge's room so you can see the bed a little basket for whatever's uh, so actually they get the large bed and uh, Homer can come up here and take a nap in that BAM take a nap Homer have a snooze enjoy yourself and then over here of course is Maggie's crib, which, uh, one, you know, when this is closed up, you can have access to the entire room uh, put together. And, of course, you can just pull this little piece of roof off. Stick Maggie in her crib if you want. There you go, Maggie. Isn't that great? Then you can just open the door and head out to the hallway where you can go downstairs if you so desire Ugh, my goodness or we can actually lift this whole piece off here and we're going to check out 
Bart's room, which is up on this uh, up on this floor, but on the other side. So there's only access to Bart's room, unfortunately, from the from the top down. Um, but there's a lot of neat stuff going on here. He's got he's got a nice pink radio for some reason. Uh, some books and and toys on his shelf. Uh, his uh, hat that he can't actually wear, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, but here's a really cool piece that I wanted to show, if I can get it without destroying everything, and I would really like for that to happen, not destroying everything, I mean. Uh, we get a Radioactive Man comic, and this is a printed piece, this is not a sticker. And it's showing Radioactive Man in Lego form. And man, do I hope they make a Radioactive Man Lego minifig, because that would be amazing. So, uh, give that. Give that to Bart. Um, he's got his little desk with his pin board. And uh, behind the door, you get a nice little crusty poster here. He has a lamp made out of sausage, which is interesting. And of course his bed. I think it would have been great if they could have found a way to make his uh, scary clown bed. That would be awesome, but uh, no dice. And uh, the, the stairway leading down, you can see there are family portraits along the wall. So very, very cool stuff going on there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this aside. Because we are going to head downstairs to the main part of the house. And uh, yeah, craziness. Craziness, guys. All right, so down here in the lower floors, and unfortunately, I was kind of hoping maybe that you could lift the top floor off to have access to the to the bottom floor, um, but no, not so much. Um, but it is, you know, the rooms are large enough that you can get in there without any problems, really. So uh, here is the the first piece of the living room. I guess this would be like the entryway of the house. You've got the door here um, that opens in. Um, this is where Homer sat in front of the window thinking he was going to die from the blowfish poisoning. Um, here's the piano that they play from time to time where he he wrote uh, Baby on Board. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's pretty much it for this part of the living room. Uh, and then we can move on to the kitchen from here. So here is the first piece of the kitchen. As you can see, there's a chair hanging out here, uh, which is one of my small complaints about this, but uh, we'll move the chair out of the way for now. You can see there's a bunch of drawers, there's cabinets up there, and you get a whole bunch of, uh, of the friends, like accessories, kitchen accessories that you can stick in all the cabinets and things like that. So you can get a good lot of stuff going on. But as it is, it's just very nice. I love the floor. I love everything that's going on here. Um, and then the second half of the kitchen, right here, uh, you've got the kitchen table, of course. You've got one of Lisa's school papers with an A+. Again, this is a printed piece. This is not a sticker. Although this one probably could have gotten away with just being a sticker, but that's all right. We'll just stick that upstairs in Lisa's hand, or she can hang out down here, or whatever. But you get three more chairs. You get a chair for everybody. You get the four four chairs and the table. Uh, the problem is that the room in any of its, you know, in any of its split iterations, when, you know, when it's split like this, is just too small. So you can just, you know, kind of have it like this and put the table in the middle and kind of give the illusion that they're all together in the kitchen. So um, then you get the second half of the kitchen here with the sink and the stove and more cabinets and uh, and the door leading out to the patio. Um, and here's another one of my major complaints from this set. Uh, there's no refrigerator, and I feel personally that the refrigerator was a very iconic piece in The Simpsons Kitchen. It was almost always in the shot. Um, it always had, like, you know, artwork from Lisa or, you know, school papers and things hung on it. Um, 
and I really think that they should have included it if they, you know, in some way. But I understand, you know, if maybe piece count or, or whatever was not not in favor of that. But I, I don't know. I think they could have maybe put it in just in place of this uh, little drawer, you know, drawers or whatever. But that's that's just me. That's just me. Uh, not not the biggest deal ever. Um, so now we are going to move on to the living room. Okay, so here we have the Simpsons living room. And of course you get the little accessory piece. You get this little vacuum cleaner uh, that Marge or whoever can use to uh, to clean the nice, lovely blue carpeting in this place. <laughs> and, uh, or, you know, the pink stairs. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little... the uh, this bar gets a little bit in the way, but let's just get this out. We're just gonna we're just gonna take some Lego apart right now. Bam! All right, there you go. How about that? How about that? So here is the living room. You can see the beautifully recreated couch uh, for the Simpsons here, and we're all just gonna pile them on in Marge's underpants because you know it doesn't matter. So. This is Homer's corner. Whoops! Get on, get, get on there, get on there, Homer. And you can see the uh, the painting behind. Pretty awesome. And dun, 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 dun. I don't even know where Bart went. Whatever. And they all can hang out <laughs> on and around the couch, and uh, it looks really cool. Uh, so yeah. That is pretty awesome. You've got the telephone right next to the couch as well, which is really neat. Um, the carpet is cool. This is a little sticker in the middle here. And, of course, the uh, the TV, which you can just pop right up. And it is playing an episode of the Itchy and Scratchy show. That's pretty awesome with the dials on the side. Whoops. You can just pop that right back in there. And then, uh, just pop this back on. There we go. And really, really cool. You can kind of turn the house around here. You can see inside everything that's going on. And it looks really, really cool when you've got it all closed up and you can see how big the room actually is. And, uh, like I'll show you up here with the um, Ma and Pa Simpsons room as well. So nice, nice big areas. Uh, it's not cramped at all. Like I, I was thinking it would be really cramped, and it's it's a little small for me just because I'm big and derpy. But uh, it's it's really not not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna put this back on, and just I mean. The colors, the colors in this set are so awesome. Uh, just so much fun. Like this, this set was so much fun to put together. Um, even like the other modulars that I love building, uh, this I think was more enjoyable overall than a lot of those, just because there is such a wide variation of color. I know there's all this tan, um, but when you're actually putting it together, it's it's all greens and blues and pinks and oranges and purples and it's so it's just so refreshing uh it's just nice and refreshingly different you can see the top i'll do a top down real quick here of all the rooms so just very very nicely done um one other small complaint i do have is that the uh the height of the rooms versus the height of marge's hair uh like she can stand up she can stand up in any of these rooms uh but you have to kind of get her under the uh under these bracing pieces to do so so she can't really stand on the edge of anything and uh yeah i guess i better put her put her little skirt back on <laughs> or fix her dress uh but yeah i know this has been a very long review and i appreciate you guys kind of sticking with it because there is just so much to uh so much to talk about here this is just a lot going on um but yeah this is a this is a really 
really nice set overall. Um, I think it's gonna look fantastic with my other. Uh, like I'm gonna I'm gonna stick this at the end of my kind of modular street. Um, I have I have my modular street and then kind of off to the side I have my haunted house and I think this is gonna kind of go in that area with the haunted house. Um, and yeah, I think I think it just looks fantastic. Um, the outside doesn't look as nice as a lot of the modulars with the art, you know, the fancy architecture and stuff. But it looks like it's supposed to, like it looks like the Simpsons house. And uh, I think overall, it's an absolutely fantastic set, easily worth the the price. Um, and I cannot wait for more uh, more Simpsons sets, especially more minifigs that don't have dopey eyes. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, here's just one thought, Lego. Um, if you make like the shops and things in Springfield, like the Androids Dungeon, how about making them compatible with the modulars? You know, have the little pins on the side. So just a thought, just a thought. But uh, <laughs> that's that's just me. I think this is a fantastic set, guys, and uh, I do really recommend it. So. Thank you so very much for sticking with me on this long review. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you as always for watching in general. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've got more Lego, more Transformers, all kinds of cool stuff coming along. So uh, be sure to stick with me for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.